Aaron. Dave, you, thank you so much. Nice moment here between Ron Zook and Richard Mendenhall. First of all, first time Illinois has beaten a top five team since 89. Put that into words. Well, it's a long time. Uh, a lot of these guys, were they even born then? Uh, <laughs> I'm just, I'm so happy and proud of them. I mean, they've, they've, they've hung in there and fought. Boy, I mean, it's, it's a great feeling. You said yesterday this team needed to come in with a chip on its shoulder. You still had a lot to prove. What did you prove to the Big Ten today, Ron? Well, I, I, you know, like I told these guys, it, you know, if we can get through by this one, you know, we're in this. I mean, it's still a lot of football to be played. We got a big game next week, but you know what? Uh, you know, we're, 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 we're in uncharted territory now, so it's going to be important that we handle it the right way and, and continue to prepare and do the things that we've done to get here. Getting a little misty in the eyes over here. Where does this win rank for you? Oh, probably the last time I saw you, Florida State. It's right up there. It's big. It really is. All right. Well, a guy that had a huge day, Richard Mendenhall. You told us yesterday this was the biggest game you've ever played in. How big is this win? It's definitely a big win. You know, you can just look around the stands. The crowd hasn't been this loud in a very long time, man. And Coach, he's talking about believing and believing. Now we're seeing it, man. 160 yards of offense today for you with three touchdowns. Why were you able to have so much success today? That's definitely a credit to the offensive line once again. You know, I think, I feel like Coach Locks and our, our offensive scheme is very hard to stop. And just with so many things we cut coming at you with all the playmakers and just the offensive line doing a great job. Russ Wild, man, he's a, he's a beast, man. I don't think people know that. But just, just, just a team effort, you know, and just the way our offense has. I was able to get in there and make plays. This coaching staff has put a lot on your shoulders saying you're the go-to guy. They named you captain this week. What did that mean to you? It definitely means a lot, you know, to just to, to get that kind of respect from the coaches and from my teammates, you know, and to, to carry it out through this, this big win. It definitely means a lot. It's a blessing. Go celebrate with your teammates. Thanks. Thanks. Richard Mendenhall with a huge day and Ron Zook's biggest win in Illinois, maybe his biggest as a head coach going back to his days at Florida. He mentioned that win over Florida State when he was there. This could be bigger over the team that had the longest winning streak in college football at 14 straight. LSU now owns the longest at 12 in a row and they play Ron Zook's old team Florida later today. For Andre Ware, Aaron Andrews, I'm Dave Pash. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. So long from Champaign, where Illinois takes down number five, Wisconsin. Now let's go to Reese Davis in the studio. Got off to a flying start here on College Football Scoreboard. Reese, Lou, and Mark here as always. I showed you the Big Ten standings. You've seen the numbers. What I want to know is how do you really stack them up, Mark, as to who's best in the Big Ten right now? Well, I still see Ohio State as being the best right now, but right behind them, I like Illinois, the way that they're playing football. You have to like the way they play. Indiana's right up there, but Illinois, on the offensive side of the ball, you know about their stars, Juice Williams, Regis Ben, and Rashard Mendenhall. We talked about him for the last few weeks, getting helmet stickers every week, but the key is their defense. Vince Oker, their defensive coordinator, has done a fabulous job going into this game. They're 25th in the country in scoring, just giving up 19 points a game, but I think the key is this football team they're balanced on offense defense and special teams let's not forget Ron Zook was a special teams coach in the NFL they're very solid on the special teams he also was a defensive coordinator at Florida previously the guy is a very very excellent coach I have to agree with you Mark Ohio State is just special this is a Jim Trestle type team by that I'm referring to they play great defense we know about Jim James Laronitis we know about Grant but also on offense with Chris Wills running the football, good offensive line, Todd Beckman not making many mistakes, and uh, Rubisky catching the ball. I think Ohio State's in the class by himself, but I agree with you. I would put Illinois number two, and that type of offense gives Michigan all kind of problems. Illinois will go to a bowl game this year, without a doubt. Not only oh, yeah. that, they need to be ranked. They're 5-1 and one and 3-0 and oh at, in the Big Ten at the top of the list right now in that conference. They should be ranked. Oh, they will be. They'll be ranked next week. We've already had two they in the top. Top 10 go down this weekend with Kentucky falling, albeit to number 11. But we have last week, you know, we had half the top 10 get beat, four of them to unranked teams. Wisconsin now goes down to an unranked team in the top 10, but they won't be unranked long. The Zucker has them at 5-1. and one. So Illinois is able to answer the bell and prove a little something else. We'll see if Purdue can do that too. Their first strong test against Ohio State. And many 